Hey everybody, welcome back to the We Skill Now YouTube channel. Good to have you back. I've been making videos about Trailblazer, and today I wanted to do something unique. I've been talking about things that I don't know before. I've been talking about regions that haven't exactly been revealed. I've just been guessing about what content is available within what regions. Today, I wanted to do a video about a place that we know exactly where the regions are, uh, a region that has been totally confirmed, and that is Mistelin. Now, one thing that's really good to do when it comes to training an Iron Man account is to set yourself up for success in the future by preparing to do one of the uh, one of the hardest things. One of the hardest things to do on an Iron Man account is to train your Herbler skill. Herbler is so important. It gives you access to potions that speed up combat. If you set yourself up for success in Herbler, it's going to do good things for your account. Now, the interesting thing about Mistelin is there's no farm patches around. Herb sources are scarce. They're rare. But what if I told you I have a friend who made an entire guide on how to trade Herblore just in Mistelin. Now, this isn't necessarily going to be the most efficient thing to do, but reading this guide, and I'm going to go through it with you, it might help you out in the future when you're trying to train Herblore or thinking of ways to do it. Let's say you want to get 99 Herblore just in Mistelin. This is what you're going to have to do. All right, so you might not know this, but there is actually a We Skill Now subreddit. And uh, right now, people are making some posts about Trailblazer and things like that. Now, uh, I want to direct your attention to Billy's 0.2% guide to Herblore. This is sick. Look at all these words here. Look at all these words. Great information in here. This is the guide that I'm going to be looking at as I just walk around Mistelin and check out these areas just to just to prove that they're real. And it's available on the WeSkillNow subreddit. Check it out. All right, so first things first, you just spawned in Mistelin. You've got level 10 uh, agility. You've got like level 3 Herblore. You've got level 5 runecrafting, I think. You want to train Herblore. Probably not the most efficient choice to make, but let's say you do. You have the option to kill just the regular men around the game. I'm gonna go get a weapon out of the bank so that this doesn't take forever. Okay, let's kill some men and let's just prove a point here. Right now, I'm just uh, running around Lumbridge. I'm killing any man or woman I see. I'm going for a one in 20 drop at best and one in 40 drop at worst. <laughs> okay. Well, we gotta ran our weed right away. <laughs> But that is actually not one of the herbs that we're looking for, even though that was kind of cool. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. We got a Guam Leaf. Now, this is a 1 in 20 drop. Now, let's say we're in League right now. We're able to clean this Guam, and how much experience do we get? 3 in-game, 15 experience in Herblore just immediately from cleaning the Guam. So, you legitimately could just, like, come out the castle gates and start... Uh, Killing men. Look at this. Three herbs immediately just like this. Oh, there's a there's a Caden time. I'm getting way too many herbs. Am I going the absolute opposite of dry? Am I am I wet, wet, wet with herbs? Let's let's edit that out. So things that we're like specifically looking for would be like low level stuff at this point. So herbs, we are able to clean the guams at level three, but we'll also be stacking up some marintels and terramin as well. And those are couple of higher levels to get to, but maybe you'll, maybe you'll legitimately be able to get there with this stuff. So you'll be able to, just, to start collecting uh, herbs this way. Now, Lumbridge is not the best way to kill men and women, even though there's quite a few spawns. There's like three inside here. There's uh, seem to be about four or five around at the, in the other area. But if we were able to get over to Edgeville up here, just north of the bank, this building right here is legitimately full of these NPCs that are a that you're able to kill for herbs. So I'm gonna go show you for sure. Here we are in that very specific building and just look at all the NPCs that are around here. It's it's ridiculous. I'm just gonna kill people until I get my first herb here. One, two, three. There it is. A grimy dwarf weed, actually. That's a little bit higher level than we want. But uh, just got... Nope, actually those were bolts. I thought that was another herb. Here's another Guam. Okay, I'm getting a little addicted to just like clicking on men and killing them, but this is a great place to kill to kill men if you're deciding to farm Guams this way. Moving on to the next part of the guide, it goes right into cave bugs. And honestly, I haven't spent any time uh, killing cave bugs in the main game, if I recall correctly. So we're going to check this out for the first time for me. I know that you need a 
a light source and a rope. So a couple of places that this guide literally suggests. We need to go to the upstairs of the sword shop. Here we are in the sword shop. We're just hopping up this ladder looking for a lit candle on the ground. Very good. Okay, so here is Ned's house in Drainer. Just got to trade him and you'll be able to get a rope. I don't remember if you need two or something, but I'm just going to grab one. Uh, I need coins. If you need coins. Oh, let me let me just check how much the rope is. 16 coins. You don't necessarily have to run to the bank. You can just run straight north. Go over to this man and start pickpocketing him. And you'll be able to get your 16 coins just like that. Thinking like an Iron Man. Very resourceful. How did I just fail this pickpocket? I've got 84 thieving. Okay, so we, we bought a rope right there. Now, I think it's time to head to the Lumbridge Swamp. Now, there's some dangerous sections inside these caves. So if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to want to listen up very carefully. There's a few Slayer monsters in these caves. So they specifically have... Uh, ways to punish you if you're not paying attention. That's kind of the that's kind of the uh, theme of Slayer monsters. So here's the way down. I already have a rope in there from coming in here earlier, so I don't have to use this rope right now. So I'm just gonna click to go down. Here we are. We went down. We have a lit candle. I made sure to bring a tinder box along with me just in case we run into any trouble. But uh, you'll notice whenever you're in this cave, there's also holes in the walls so you have to be careful about these uh i'm just going to show you what happens if you if you get attacked by the monster that's in every single one of these holes and you're not wearing a spiky helmet it grabbed by a hand i hope i just don't die here hoping 99 hp comes through with me yeah smacks you pretty hard get hit by a 17 but you don't have to have a spiky helmet while you're down here all you have to do is stand one tile in front of it and click right past it. Your character will run two spaces forward and it'll be just fine. You won't get hit by the hand. So here we are in the caves and we've made it to uh, our, our destination. You'll be able to kill these level six cave bugs. Oh, okay. So I didn't even know this. Um, these drop amazing, amazing items. I got a Guam on the second kill. I got an Eye of Newt in the first kill, which Eye of Newt is specifically really, really important for making your really low level potion, your attack potion, level three, Guam Leaf and Eye of Newt. So in two kills, I got all the ingredients necessary for an attack potion. That'll give awesome experience. So let's kill a few more of these. Uh, Grimy Irrit Leaf. Man, do these just drop only awesome herbler uh, materials. So honestly, the cave bugs are kind of exciting so far. They drop some really great stuff. A limp root is also an herblore uh, thing. So these drop awesome stuff for herblore like crazy. They also drop nature runes. These are a, a fantastic monster. One thing that I didn't mention is that they require level seven slayer to kill. You don't need to have a task for them to kill them or anything but you do need level seven Slayer. So uh, level seven Slayer is no big deal to worry about because you're able to go to the Farrakh Museum, go downstairs and do the little history quiz and you'll get at least level nine Hunter and Slayer. I actually think that you'll get those rewards uh, times five. So you'll get you'll get well above level seven Slayer just from doing that natural history, I think it's called uh, quiz. And uh, you'll be able to come down here and kill Cave bugs, just like that. Let's say a bunch of other people have the same idea as you and they come down here and they're killing all the bugs and you want to find a room that has bugs just for you. There's there's a few quirks with this cave that make it a little bit dangerous. Uh, we already talked about holes in the wall, but there's one more thing. Since you're not going to have a, a access to like a covered lantern, you have an open flame here. If you run north and you see a room with just cave slimes in it and you run in, uh, you don't get a random event. <laughs> your, your character explodes. So so I took 19 damage right there. And since I brought the tinderbox, I was able to light my candle again. But that would happen if you just stayed in that room. You would just keep on exploding. There's another room where you explode as well. But there are other places to go to kill more cave bugs. And you'll be able to feel that out on your own. Uh, as you come down here and exp experiment with killing cave bugs. Okay, so chat just clued me in on how to really check if you're in danger or not. You could remember that you're just in, in these couple of rooms with cave slimes, but if you have your chat box open and you walk into a dangerous location with just your open flame and you walk past a threshold, just watch for the red message to pop up.
your candle flares brightly. So if you see that pop up, just run back from where you came from and you'll be safe. See, your candle stops flaring. All good, all good. Okay, so we're on the first couple of steps and we're already just full of, uh, our inventory is just like full of herbs and stuff already and uh, things are looking pretty good, but uh, there's other options as well. Take a journey with me, take a moment, Put yourself in Trailblazer. Everyone's trying to train Herblore. It's it's crowded. It's packed. There's only a few worlds that uh, that you're able to train Trailblazer in. Um, let's say that's the case. You're able to go check out the zombies. Uh, there's zombies in the Varrock sewers. There's zombies in the uh, Drainer sewers. I'm going to head over to the Drainer sewers and uh, check out the zombies. They have a similar, a little bit better drop rate than, than men and women, honestly, for these herbs, but they have a little bit more HP, a little bit more defense, and you're gonna have to be a little bit stronger to be able to kill them, and you won't be able to kill them as fast. But these are an option to kill in order to get some herbs. I'm just gonna kill a few of these, see how many it takes for me to get an herb. I'm on my second kill. Oh, there it is. Got a Guam on my second kill, just like that. So far, we've addressed getting a few herbs. We've addressed getting a few secondary items, like we ended up with an Eye of Newt. We ended up with Limper Root. We haven't uh, addressed getting a Pestle and Mortar. We haven't addressed getting a Vial yet. Let me show you how to get a Vial, uh, at least one method. So I'm just going to pickpocket a, me uh, a man here just a couple more times. So check it out. Here's an awesome way to get a Vial. Uh... I love this. I, I love I love Billy Billy Jim for coming up with this method to get a vial. But check this out. You can talk to any gardener. I'm I'm like right behind Lumbridge Castle. You actually have to go through the dialogue and say, "Can you sell me something?" And then some plant cure. I don't know how much this is. Uh, twenty five coins. I ended up with twenty. Shoot. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna pickpocket a couple of men and I'll, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Here we are again with enough money. We're just gonna get through this dialogue. 25 coins that sounds like a fair price all right so here we are we've got plant cure you're able to just empty the plant cure and boom that's a way to get a vial right here in mislin in lumbridge it's awesome and uh uh i didn't know this honestly but chad is telling me that we're just going to spawn with a pestle and mortar so Maybe I'll do a video on what we're going to spawn with, because I know uh, it's it's kind of interesting. We get to spawn with probably all the normal items, but we're also going to get handed a Draman staff right away for fairy rings, and apparently a Pestle and Mortar as well. So, uh, problem solved, it seems. And check this out. So I got this vial, I've killed monsters to get a Guam Leaf and uh, an Eye of Newt, and I start with level 3, I know, uh, Herblore. So I can just fill this up with water. I can use the Guam leaf on the potion. Boom. We have an un, uh, uh, unfinished Guam potion and I'm going to use an Eye of Newt just to check how much experience that we get right here. 25. So that's 125 Herblore experience that we just got just from uh, killing things and we made an entire attack potion. Once you're done with the attack potion, just empty it again. You can, you can reuse your vial. <laughs> This is, this is great. This is, I love this. So we talked about getting low level herbs. We talked about getting vials, one method. We talked about the pestle and mortar. You've got all of the ingredients for success to train your herb lore in Mistalin. Let's talk about getting secondaries. Let's talk about specific potions that you're gonna be making. So I just made an attack potion in front of you and I got my guam leaf from a man, let's say. I got my eye of newt from a cave bug. Turns out that's actually a one in 64 drop. It's gonna be really hard to farm those uh, in order to train your herblore. Honestly, um, you might just have to wait to unlock Esgarnia if you want a reliable source of Eyes of Newt because you'll be able to, to buy them in a shop there. Uh, it's so frustratingly close to Drainer because you know that the Eye of Newt's like right on the other side of the wall, but you will not be able to go get those Eyes of Newt from the shop without unlocking your next area. So let's look at some other things that we can use. Um, Anti-Poison at level five Herblore. We've got the Marintels. We do have at least one Marintel in my inventory, right? Looks like I actually got unlucky. I didn't get a single Marintel, but they do they are dropped by pretty much all the things that we killed so far in this video. And that just leaves the problem of getting a ground unicorn horn. So unicorns are near Barbarian Village. One interesting source of ground unicorn horn would be cave bugs. Again, honestly, they literally drop the ground 
cave bug. Uh, they literally dropped the ground unicorn horn. So we wouldn't necessarily need the pestle mortar, but we have one. So we can just go uh, to directly to the unicorns if you're looking to get uh, experience by making anti-poisons. That's kind of a cool method. Those are your couple of potions from level three and five you'll probably be able to successfully farm those things in order to train your herb lore. You need to get all the way up to level 12 to be able to utilize your tarot min and limpert roots. Tarot min are also dropped by all those same same things. And, and I also ended up with a couple of limpert roots already. Limpert root sources famously include the hobgoblins. We got it from cave bugs. And then if you're trying to multitask, which you assumedly should be trying to do, eh, hill giants are another source of limpert roots. And you're also going to be able to train prayer there. Uh, getting the big bones. So it feels like a little bit of a grind, but it is possible to train Herblore here, and it is going to be difficult without any without any herb patches. But that's kind of the beauty of a, of a restricted Iron Man. You might literally be using some of these methods in order to train your Herblore. So I would be able to continue up the list and, and, and talk about all the potions up until level 30. Eight? You you literally are able to make prayer potions just in Mistlin. I I hit a Ranar drop from a man on, on like my second kill, which was admittedly quite lucky. But you're also able to get snape grass. You're able to do these things, but it's not necessarily worth it because once again, our hero, the cave bug, uh, is able to drop snape grass, and uh, it's actually like the source for a lot of the things that you're able to make up until this point. But once again, I don't know, this is actually somewhat of a silly video to make because who's going to be spending all this time just in Mistlin just focusing on training Herblore, right? I'm assuming that uh, if you're if you're playing optimally, I think the best path is to unlock another area with at least some, some farm patches. Get yourself some seeds, probably from monsters again, train your farming up, farm some herbs so that you can... Uh, train Herblore a little bit more efficiently. But in case you wanted to know, it is totally possible to train your Herblore just in Mistlin. It's a little bit of a mystery, a little bit of a, a, a puzzle to work out, but I'm, I'm really glad that Billy Billy Jim did it. And I'm sure that he would invite you over to the We Skill Now subreddit where he posted it so that you could subscribe and hang out there. It's also a very acceptable thing to make fun of me in that subreddit as well. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please, oh please, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, make me feel cool by having that subscriber count grow. Please like the video. If you like the video, it'll legitimately give this video a better chance to be suggested to other people, and I appreciate that so much. Let me know your thoughts on training on training Herblore in the comments section of this video. You don't necessarily have to contain it to just myth mythalin. In fact, I might prefer that you didn't. I want to know what what's an efficient way to train Herblore, just an Iron Man mode in general, and maybe we'll be, be able to apply that to Trailblazer as time goes on. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Breaking news, everybody. There's actually a che cheaper way to get vials here. Let's bring the attack potion to the decanter. Right click and click decant. Put it into one dose. He actually will split this into four one dose potions here. It just costs five coins for each additional vial that you get. So once you get one vial, you're able to split that into a bunch of vials. Um, perhaps there's a more efficient way to go about this, but this is possible.